I was just running around in the in the garage, up and down in oh, yeah. in the condo building, just making it going up like this, and then going back down. About 30 minutes, push-ups, pretty much prison workouts. Um, that's really what it was. I was here by myself in this condo and like I was literally just by myself. My brother went home and I didn't go home because I thought like, I'm not gonna go home. Like the season is gonna start soon. I don't wanna miss it. It impacted other people worse than it did for me. I still got to play for Gilas. Like even my brother, for example, like, he was at home for like three years. He couldn't play because two or three years because of the pandemic, like the UAP didn't start. He transferred schools like it, it was like a big break. There's people in the States that the COVID year, you know, it takes away like they couldn't get recruited from high school. So I was just here. And then luckily, like, I, I guess I took that chance. I was here. So I was able to get called up for Gilas and everything worked out that way. I just took the chance of staying here. And you, you guys turned a lot of heads, like that young group. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about that Gila's crew. We we're all young guys in the pandemic, stuck in, in the bubble, just training, eating, sleeping together. It's like, that's why like me and Kai and Carl on the team now, that's why we're so close. Cause we were all part of that, that team. Would you consider that as like your coming out party or breakout moment as a basketball player here? Yeah, it was the one game where I didn't, I didn't miss a shot. And I didn't know it until the end. But Coach Tab was like, oh, you didn't miss a shot. Like, just wait till you check your phone. It's going to be blowing up. And then it, it really was. And then that game versus Korea or SJ hit that shot. Yeah. Uh, what was the mood of the team going into that game? And that's a rivalry game. I, I don't know if you're aware, like there's a big rivalry between the Philippines and South Korea. Well, we practiced for so long. So like we were confident that we could do it. And like training for that was just, it was crazy. Like we were practicing so hard. And the fact that we were able to win that game and it was like a buzzer beater like that. One of the craziest games for sure. Kai and Carl seeing them back then, seeing me back then, and then how we are now, it's like, I guess that's what, four years, four years ago, three or four years ago, like there's been a pretty big change already, how we play, how we act, our skills, like we're still so young, so like we still have a lot of time. So I think the national team is like, it's gonna be like our golden generation. The hardest part is being away for the whole year and you're just pretty much by yourself. You couldn't even have visitors fly in. So once you came in there for work, like it was just you. 